Hello there, it's Sarah from Paper Lovely. Thanks for joining me today. I have got a few more rosettes to share with you. Uh, this time I am using the Crate Paper Snowflake Collection. And I'm gonna make some large rosettes today, just two of them. So I've gone ahead and trimmed out my strips of pattern paper to two and a half inches wide by 12 inches tall. And I'm gonna create some thin rosettes here. So I'm going to actually score these at every quarter of an inch. And I will go all the way across on all four of these pieces of paper. Now remember, you're gonna add two of these pieces of paper together to create a circle. So it's actually only gonna make one rosette. So you need two strips for each rosette. So here I am painstakingly folding this at every quarter of an inch on all of those score lines. And that is a bit tricky. Um, sometimes I will actually do all of the folds in one direction and then turn my paper and do all of the folds in the opposite direction just to give my hands a little bit of a break because it is quite a lot of squeezing to get all of those teeny tiny little folds done. So here I have jumped ahead and all of my folding is finished. I've added some eighth inch square tape along one edge of each of these pieces of paper and I'm going to go ahead and join them together. And then I'll peel away the backing on the second piece of tape and join them together again. And that's going to create my circle. So here I'm going to actually get my rosette put together. I am just pushing down sort of from the outside in to create this rosette, it's just squeezing that in so I get a nice tight circle. And then I will add some hot glue in the center. I've gone ahead and punched out some one inch circles and I will press one of those on top of that hot glue in the center there, just holding that down until it dries. With these larger rosettes, you do wanna hold that in place. It's, it's a lot more paper to squeeze together and it takes just a little bit longer to hold that to make sure it's nice and tight before you flip that over and do it again on the opposite side. And then once you have that second one down, it is really gonna be nice and secure. I like to use the end of my scoring tool just so that I don't burn my fingers on that hot glue. And there is the base rosette. So I will go ahead and create my second rosette the exact same way, just pressing down, adding some hot glue in the center, and then getting my one inch circles pressed into place. Now that I have both my bases completed, I'm gonna speed things up here and leave the remainder of the video as a process video for you. Uh, you'll see I pull things in and out, just deciding on how I want my layers to all work together. I will go ahead and turn up the music at this point, and I am just going to let that go ahead and play itself out through the end of the video. Per usual, I will have a blog post to go along with this where you'll find still shots of both of the rosettes and a link to all of the supplies that I have used to date. If you have any questions, just let me know in the comments below and I will do my best to answer them for you. And I will see you in the next video.